This video will show an animation of the time dependence of the particle in a box wave function probability densities. So we've got our wave function here for particle in a box. Um, I've got it plotted in blue, the particle in a box wave function. So um, I've actually got what's called the real part of that in blue and the imaginary part in red. The imaginary part is currently at zero everywhere. So the probability density is in purple here. That's psi star psi. So what's different than the previous animation of the particle in a box wave functions is that now we have time dependence to it. So our individual particle in a box wave functions are still the same. They're still square root of 2 over L, length of the box, sine n pi x over L inside the box, 0 to L. But now in for the time dependence, it has a complex exponential. It has a part that depends on e to the i k t. So in that case, what we do is we can separate that into a real and imaginary component. So Euler's formula, e to the i k x equals sine k x plus i, or sorry, Euler's formula, e to the i k x equals cosine k x plus i sine k x. So the real part is dependent on a cosine in time. So I've got a normalization constant here times coefficient times our particle in a box wave function times cosine 2 pi e of that function t over h or h bar. So my imaginary part is the same thing except for instead of a cosine function it is a sine function. The probability density is psi star psi which is equal to the real part squared times the imaginary part squared when you look at what the components of, an imag of a complex number are once you square them. Um, the energy levels are plotted h squared n squared over 8 ml squared inside the box. Um, that's where we get our e that we're substituting into this real and imaginary part here. What else we got going on? So we got, so that's what's plotted. We have the real part in blue, the imaginary part will show up in red, the density in purple. Um, the total energy is the green dotted line here. Um, this, when we mix states, is going to be different than the in energies of the individual states, these bars on the outside here, E of n1, n equals 2, n equals 3, 4, etc. Bars on the right-hand side as well. And then just the potential energy plotted at the bounds of the box just for fun. So what we've got is our wave function is a sum of all these coefficients. So this is 1 times psi 1 plus 0 times psi 2, etc., etc., beyond that. And we're going to animate this over time. So let's see what happens. All right, so our energy is constant in time. And our probability density for psi 1, which is an eigenfunction, is constant over time. So that's why it's a stationary state. Notice that our real part in blue and our imaginary part in red those are cosine and sine functions. They're oscillating back and forth, rotating around the complex plane in time. But the two for a stationary state combine in a way such that our probability density is constant. Our energy is just the energy of psi 1. Our density is the density of the spatial part of psi 1. So that's for when our wave function is psi 1. When it's psi 2, we have a similar thing. The oscillation goes back and forth faster now because it's at a higher energy. The cosine term in there is going back and forth faster. Two, two, uh, two lobes of density going back and forth, imaginary and real part rotating around. Energy is higher, but both the energy and the probability density are constant. N equals 3 starts to make the pattern pretty apparent. We're going up to N equals E3 for energy. Three lumps of density, two nodes and are, we're going much faster oscillating between real and imaginary components. All right, so those are individual stationary states, all the way up to n equals 4 if you're interested in looking at that. Although, and now let's look at some combination of the two. So if we have a combination between psi 1 and psi 2, notice now that my energy is halfway between them because my coefficients I also have normalization taken care of down here. My normalization constant is going to be the sum of all these coefficients squared. So my energy now is halfway in between psi 1 and psi 2. It's an equal mix. 
and notice my density moves back and forth. My real and imaginary components don't form a node anymore, and in time dependence, I have a I have a density that moves from the right to the left and back and forth. The particle has momentum over time, and it's moving back and forth, and it's moving its average position. The more I make this look like psi one, uh, the less it's going to move. It's going to be look like more like psi one but it's still going to move to some extent because it has that psi2 component in there. It's not a pure eigenstate anymore. Notice also that as I make my coefficients more like psi1, my energy gets closer and closer to psi1 because this is my average energy, even though the only values I can actually measure in a measurement are, are E1 and E2. So by the time I make this, for example, 10, Notice it's just a very slight oscillation and the energy is almost back to psi 1 when we're almost back to a stationary state. So I can represent any function that obeys these boundary conditions of psi 0 equals 0 and psi L equals 1 as long as I use these coefficients properly. Okay, so that's what I get for an individual if I what I get for my uh, stationary states and, and mixtures. Uh, once again, as before, if I change the value of L, the energy goes up and the oscillation goes faster because the oscillation depends on the energy. It, energy goes up, frequency of oscillation goes up. Energy goes down, frequency of oscillation goes down. So length of the box still has a similar effect. Uh, mass of the particle has a similar effect as, as well. Light, uh, heavier particles have less quantum behavior. The energy levels stack on top of each other with less separation. Things go slower. And as you get lighter and lighter, there's more quantum behavior as you get very, very light. Energy levels separate and the oscillation gets faster. All right, so that's the basics of our uh, particle in a box uh, time dependent wave function animation. We have stationary states for when we're mixed equally. And whenever we have some crazy combination of functions together, we get some kind of state which oscillates back and forth in time and doesn't have nodes, and our density oscillates uh, based off of the difference in energy between the individual states which we have combined.